Families gather tonight to welcome home a U.S. Marine Corps squadron at Fort Worth's Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base. They just returned from a months long deployment in the Pacific. And Fox Wars Macy Jenkins was there for the excitement, the tears, and the long awaited hugs. Macy, what a night. Clarice, so many hugs. The VMFA 112 squadron got back here tonight. They landed in Fort Worth. Many of their friends and family there with signs. So excited. This group of about 250 Marines has been gone since September. They got back on the tarmac and they were opened. They were welcomed with open arms. <laughs> After six months out on the Pacific Ocean, the U.S. Marines and the VMFA 112 Squadron are safely back in the USA. I'm just so happy right now. It's, it's been hard, so, but we're happy that he's back home. Crowded outside of this hangar at the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base in Fort Worth, hundreds of loved ones could hardly wait for that welcome home hug. It's been okay, kind of lonely, but doable. FaceTime calls and texting all the time and... It was difficult. After her brother missed her college graduation in December, Jocelyn Pita says she's overjoyed. The wait for his return is over. It's been hard, but we've been all excited, and just seeing him again is just really going to feel like the family's whole again. The squad of roughly 250 hasn't stayed in one spot for more than three weeks, spending their time in places like South Korea and northern Japan. You have some uh, Marines who they've been in for less than a year. You have others uh, who have 25, 26 years in the service. Marines from Florida to Washington now headed home to spend quality time with their families. What are you going to do now? Hug me. I'm probably going <laughs> to. Do the lawn. That's what I, I would, I've been waiting for. But amidst the joyous reunions, many Marines do have the conflict in Ukraine in the back of their minds. So if the president says, hey, here's what I need you to do, I guarantee you the Marines of 112 would be the first one to say, yep, go ahead and send me. The families, not so much, but the Marines, absolutely. Now, the base hosted quite the homecoming party tonight. They had pizza, games, they even had a bounce house for the little ones. Of course, the clear highlight of the night was the long-awaited reunion with a loved one that's been overseas for so long. Now, it's time to go home and catch up on the last six months apart.